today, and I think I can just get this for you. There are, I, if I remember part, part of it, you have over 4,800 illegal connections on our pipeline. Illegal connection. That means in some lines, within 100 kilometers of pipeline, Mr. Chairman, you will have as much as 300 insertions. That means every kilometer, you will have an insertion. And five lines for being what they are, if you continue this insertion, even when you seal it up, it can no longer hold the pressure that it will do. Therefore, even when you produce the oil, you cannot deliver them at the required pressure, and therefore the volume will also be less. The situation we have in the Niger Delta in terms of security is a calamity. And I'm happy he spoke his mind, so let me also speak my mind. You don't have this situation anywhere else in the world. And I have the misfortune of sitting in very many fora where we are asked exactly what are you doing in your country, <laughs> Mr. President, to engage non-state actors to protect critical access as the last resort of a, of a, for a solution to a massive challenge. It's very abnormal, sir. It's completely abnormal. It shouldn't have been, it should have happened. Talk less of even involving communities in security of assets. There will be total oil demand of up to 100 million barrels per day of oil equivalent in the energy mix. So oil and gas will not vanish. So oil will be bought for different purposes. It will be converted for different chemicals and different materials. But production of oil and gas will continue, but in a very cleaner way. And the countries that will survive this are those who are able to produce cheap, efficiently, and quickly to the market. And our plan is to make sure that we become a player in that space so that our cost becomes low and people will buy from us. This is the plan. But in terms of the transition itself, we are focused on gas because we are actually a gas country and we are not an oil country. It's actually a gas country with associated oil. But we have historically focused on oil production because you know, producing gas takes longer time bring taken to the market, and also it has lower margin. And therefore, everybody is focused on oil that brings, that comes to the table quickly, and also it has bigger margin. And everything is changing now. Gas is the transition for oil. We are focused on creating the domestic gas infrastructure. We are already delivering them. The 2024 appropriation bill tag the budget of renewed oil lay before us by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is predicated on the oil benchmark of $77.86. And also, the output projection is 170 uh, million barrels per day in terms of crude. And as you all are aware, there are a lot of uncertainty in the oil market. The oil price is coming down, and the benchmark is going up. And I believe we need clarification. Also, as at last appropriation bill, we are doing 1.2, 1.3 million per barrel. Now we are having 1.70 million per barrel as contained in the appropriation act submitted by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. 